garage. And it's echoey because we are in the garage, but that's okay because that's a good place to be. Gimli's gonna chill. Um, excuse my messy garage. Um, we recently got an upright freezer and it has like shifted everything down and we don't have everything quite nothing we don't have everything quite in their home yet um but we are working on it but it is actually warm out here i mean warm is relative but it's like above freezing so that means it's warm um and so i thought i would get out here and maybe work on some projects um the first project i'm going to work on is kind of a small one an easy one it's a headband holder for these lovely headbands that i've fallen in love with and i'm going to get like a ton more but i am very much opposed to throwing things in drawers so let's get started on that so we're just gonna go through a scrap bin that is in complete disarray i feel like i'm always organizing this bin and it always ends up looking like this okay so i had i went through my scrap bin i picked out a piece it was between some pine and some oak the oak went out because i had one that was longer than i wanted and wider and i was looking for one that was a little on the wider side so i'm going with a one by eight oak board um for those of you who don't do um dimensional lumber all that often or was it dimensional um anyways a one by eight is not one by eight it's one and or it's seven and a quarter by three quarter ish um but so one by eight is what they sell it as. Um, this is solid oak, so it is heavy. Um, I went inside and measured where I, there's two places I might put this, and I decided to go with the lesser of the two evils, so it would fit either place. So I'm doing this at 20 and a half inches, and I'm gonna use this saw to um, cut it. again. I'm going to take the board in and see where I want it. Okay, so I went in and measured that, took the board in, and came back out. I, I made the decision. It, it was the same decision I made before, but, you know, when you are sitting, you know, standing here at the saw and you're seeing that you're going to cut this, and if you cut it too short, you can't go back. Duolingo is calling me. I'm trying to learn Spanish on there. And then I'm learning ASL, ASL on um, YouTube. Um, all, all these kind of learning things. But anyways, back to the task at hand. Um, so I'm putting that at 20, I forget. But I think it's 20 and a half. Yeah, 20 and a half inches. this down and I'm gonna definitely make sure I get the corners because that is like the worst culprit in my opinion on getting hurt um, 
and also it looks more finished um, when you have nice, smooth, not like super sharp corners. After I finished sanding all the um, surfaces of the of the wood board, I traced what I wanted to burn on um, in pencil, and then burned it on with um, my wood burning pen. Um, after I was done burning, I used a uh, Minwax um, stain to stain it the color I wanted, and then I put a clear coat of polycrylic on it to seal it. We are back in the garage and we're working on this sign and it's Woodburn. We got it sealed. We used this polycrylic. Um, if you're doing any type of like furniture building, sign making, anything with wood, I would highly recommend using the polycrylic. And probably about three coats is kind of where I found is the sweet spot. And it takes a beautiful homemade piece of furniture and takes it to the next level. In my opinion, it also protects it um, and makes it easier to dust, which is important. Um, and if you're the person who does the dusting in your house, you know this. Okay, now that we have that done, I need to find the French cleat. Hang on. Okay, now that we've got this all stained um, and finished the way we want it, we are going to put on a French cleat to hang it. So, since I've started hanging stuff in our house, um, I have basically fallen in love with these things. So, French cleats, um, they kind of take a minute I think to learn how to use. So this side goes into the wall. It has a little level, the levels in the package. Um, so this side goes on the wall and then this side goes on to your thing and they just kind of interlock. There's a little interlock groove and it hangs on there like that. And this one in particular it's the 13 inch, it'll, it'll hold 100 pounds, um, which this will never be 100 pounds, but we are going to put, use this one because it was the smallest one. Okay, we have our French cleat on there. Um, and now we're going to do the front. Um, I just didn't want to do the front while, um, until I had that on. Okay, so I got some, uh, whatchamacallum? Clothespins, wood clothespins. And I spray painted them black. I just used Rust-Oleum, yeah, flat black. Um, and now we're going to put them onto our sign. Okay, so we have all our clothespins. We're gonna kind of space them out how we want them. And spray painting um, clothespins is not is no easy task to get the entire thing. Um, so we are gonna kind of be a little bit choosy on the side that we display. Okay, we have all our pin clothespins laid out. We're gonna use a hot glue gun to adhere them to the board. Okay, 
Okay, no, seriously. Um, it turned out pretty great. I just got to hang it, and um, I apparently missed a spot on one of those. I'm glad I'm not tall and can't see all some of these mistakes. Um, so let's actually go ahead and go hang this up. Even though we're going to have to take it down to paint the bathroom, I just kind of want It is. I have it half full now. Um, probably I wouldn't. I go 15 on one this size because I'm using about every other one. Um, but I'm I'm happy with how it looks. I did add some of these uh, bumpers, heavy duty bumpers, to the back just so that it's not like hitting the wall if the door happens to slam or something. But I absolutely. It's gorgeous. I'm so proud of me. Um, I love this. I, I love this. The burning. I love the color of the wood. I love the black and the burn. I love, I love it. So if you have any questions about how I made this awesome headband holder, um, leave them for me below. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of projects and whatever we do on this homestead, hit the subscribe button because we're always doing weird stuff like this. Um, until next time, guys. Bye.